just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah. He just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh. Well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was under the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Hello and welcome back to God of War, played on Boosteroid. I've decided that today we're getting out of Muspel. We are not ready to go through all of the sectors. So instead, we will go on an adventure. Let's explore a little bit more of... Uh, how was it? Um, on, Niflheim, nope. Asgard, no. Svatlheim, no. Helheim, no. Alfheim, not yet. Uh, return to Midgard. Each time. Hi, Magni and Modi. Two bigger twits you won't likely find in the halls of Asgard. They'll do anything their uncle puts them up to. They are fools. Well, dangerous fools, to be sure. When they work together, they're formidable. But too often, it's a petty competition. Terribly strong, even as children. And I remember the time Ringyard the Brawler fell upon Thor. Another time, Ed. No, please continue. It's not like there's anything else we will do here. I can never quite remember where the way out is. Um, but it's certainly not here. Of course, it's behind the door marked with a tree. That makes sense. You two going in or what? Yeah, give me a moment. I need to figure out where I want to go. Why are those locked? No reason, apparently. Destroy the statue of Thor. Can we go with it? Maybe. Um. Yes. That we. Wait. What do I have marked right now? This one. Okay. So we need to go to the right side. Here and pick up something that I missed earlier because we are never going that way. Ooh, good find. Thank you. All oh, right, it's probably behind the gate that we cannot open just yet. do we have to do? Council Valkyries. Ah, right. And I had this marked. Find a way to open the gate. Uh. What the heck? Go to journal. Track. Why I cannot go? Well, why I cannot do this from the map menu? I have no idea. Okay, um. Why it shows me that it's supposed to be. So you were saying Odin was lonely? <laughs> That's why he was always at war? Nothing quite so simple. But I hoped that love might temper him and give us a chance for peace. 
and after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. But he granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counsellor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Not mm -hmm. you. You were taken from this realm too early. Although I think you will be the last one. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. What? Whoop. Snoop. Ah, that's what, that's what hurt me. Where's the guy? Not one? No. Oh god damn it. Thank you. will deal with you. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Don't trust They've taken those. three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Okay. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Yeah, right. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Hmm. Did you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while... Look at this chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son, but young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOOM! struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from Thor. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Isn't that him? 
No. You found the village? Aye. When Thamma fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Where are you stopping? A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Dangerous. Oh, there's another one. Right, I did not change those. <laughs> Never mind. We'll make it work. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. And you don't know how to deal with it. Brother, looks like that crystal's brimming again. Yes, I noticed that. Come back. Come back. Nope. Okay, let's go. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thank you. His idea. No, please. The other way around. You can have to go. What did you shoot? Never mind. Oops. I'm just making sure. It's not the one. What happened to the survivors? Oh. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Another chesty. Okay, thank you. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Up ahead! I'm Dermark! I didn't see you.
Oh, I hate fighting with you guys. Something. Come on, pick it up. Okay. No, no. Where is my? Thank you. Nope. Oh, I mean, it worked. of the fans. That's all. Okay. Hey, part in the world tree staff. That's Andy. Yeah, but where can we use that? Find two more. There's another one up there. Offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Hmm. Come on. Keep moving. Why moving? <laughs> I honestly have no idea how, why he just randomly stops. Um, nope. I'm trying to remember how it was. What it was to change the kids. Type of arrows. Some action arrow type T. Great. 
Oh, thank you. That was rather easy. Follow me, Atreus. That was enough. Uh, we need R and we need P. There's that. And the last one is here. Thank you. of the ranger. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that while I was on my way out of there already. Hmm. I hate those. Thank you. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. No offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Oh boy. Find a way to break the ice. Good. Can I take his? No. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it. I need one of them, I think. Thank you. Come on, get him. Oh, you! 
Okay, so really my plan was to take that hammer and try destroying the ice, which would probably take us a couple hundred of years, maybe? I mean, he doesn't have to rest. So why not? Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Thank you. Anything else? No. Okay. Um then thank you. And we can So, this plan of yours. Go you our way. It? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Yeah. Wrong one. Oh, I really like jewelry, didn't you? I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, I... for a snow covered corpse. I have an idea, but I need this to be active again, or not. Careful! My shop's right here. You'll be fine. Don't worry. We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Mm. I'll keep thinking. You're not really helpful, you know that. Come on. Okay, interesting. I hate this guy. Maybe uh, I should start dodging. I mean, blocking. I tried. I did. What? I don't know why. <laughs> I 
I don't I have no idea why it changed the target, but I don't mind. Thank you. Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. A war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. We keep no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood. Okay, we'll go there in a second. Because right now I'm not quite sure which way we sh are supposed to go. Good up. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's enough. Um, I don't know why he pushed it that far. will be it for today so for now thank you very much stay alive and see you soon bye